Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Himani and uh, today I'm going to talk about screening and diagnosis of autism spectrum disorders. So diagnosing autism spectrum disorder can be difficult because there's no medical test like a blood test uh, or a scan which can be done to diagnose the disorders. Mostly the diagnosis happens uh, when the doctors look at the child's detailed developmental history and make behavioral observations. Based on that, the diagnosis is made. So autism spectrum disorder can sometimes be detected at an age of 18 months or even younger. But by the age of two years, a diagnosis by an experienced professional can be considered as reliable. So now coming to screening. So all children uh, are recommended to be screened uh, for their behaviors at nine months, 18 months, and between 24 to 30 months of age. In addition, uh, a specific autism specific uh, developmental screening can also be done at 18 months, 24 months, and it has to be done even more frequently for children uh, who have either a sibling, a sister or a brother uh, on autism spectrum disorder, or there is any other family member on autism spectrum disorder. So in those cases, extremely important to do an ASD specific screening. And the most commonly used questionnaire there is MCHAT screen. So you can either download it through the website on your own and do that 20 questions and get it scored. Uh, or you can visit your pediatrician who can give you that MCHAT screening at between 18 to 24 months and it can be done as a part of routine screening. Now, if you do not have any screening happening at, on a regular basis, some red flags in the development of a child which can be kept in mind, uh, which gives us a cue towards autism spectrum symptoms would be if the child is not responding to their name by the 12 months of age, if child is not pointing at objects to show interest, such as a flying aeroplane by 14 months of age, if the child is not having pretend play, like feeding a doll, making the doll sleep by 18 months of age, avoiding eye contact uh, or want to be alone all the time, having trouble understanding other people's feeling or top talking about their own emotions and feelings uh, is difficult. Those are some of the red flags. And again, uh, a very important uh, red flag is delayed speech and language skills. Uh, sometimes the child may be speaking a few words, but the words and phrases are mostly repetitive. They will be repeating the same phrases again and again and over and over. Sometimes the child may if they are verbal and speaking, they may uh, give answers which are unrelated to the questions being asked. They may get very upset and minor changes uh, in their routines, changes in the environment can upset them. So those are red flags. They can have obsessive interests, obsessive ways to play. Sometimes you may observe certain motor repetitive movements like flapping their hands or rocking their body or spinning in circles. Sometimes a child may show unusual reaction to the way they, this, they hear sounds, uh, they may smell or start, may get too disturbed um, with the smell of a regular mopping, may put everything in mouth, explore, exploring new objects by putting them in mouth or uh, they may sometimes not be very comfortable to be hugged or touched or maybe just want to be want to come and be uh, hugged again and again. They may not be able to share interest with others. So all these are the features um, or red flags. If you observe in the child, uh, we must go and seek support from a professional who can help and guide in making a correct diagnosis. So social and communication are two domains in the development of a child which are delayed and if those are delayed, it calls for attention. Some children can speak in words. So parents say my child can speak, but there can be communication issues along with the social issues that we observe. So those children who are verbal can speak small two, three word phrases. You would find 
there will be a reversal of pronouns they may say you instead of i uh, they may use fewer gestures uh, like waving a bye bye may not be there the tone may be very flat or robotic or sometimes maybe in a singing song like tone the joke sarcasm teasing will take longer than usual to understand so those are some of the challenges that they may face uh, in communication skills so social and communication delay with repetitive and restricted patterns of interest behavior and activities if we have a spread of symptom across these domains that then it is definitely alarming and giving us a lot of red flags towards autism spectrum disorders and when these are present then you must go and seek help from a trained professional who can make behavioral observations and help you guide with the correct diagnosis and then suggest the right kind of treatment and intervention so if you have any queries related to this if you have any if you need any guidance any support please feel free to reach out to us at continuo kids uh, the details of, of continuo kids and how to reach to us are shown in the video below please feel free to contact us at any point thank you